everybody. Thought I'd make a video here to demonstrate how to get around the problem of Logic Pro, in this case Logic Pro X or Logic Pro 10. When you load up the software you get the core MIDI services error where your MIDI is not available and of course your controller keyboard doesn't control anything. The trick is to literally load up every time without the error. There are other ways to make to get around it and make it work, but this is surefire. It's worked for me every time I get the error. What you do is you load up Logic Pro with your controller off. In this case, I use a Korg Triton as the controller, but this will work with any controller. It doesn't matter if you use an old Kawaii keyboard, you know, or Roland, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that whatever is connected to your computer through the USB for your MIDI is connected but turned off. It goes for the same if you're using these kinds of interfaces like the MIDI Mans, the MIDI Sports, and whatnot. Just make sure it's shut off. Load up Logic with all your USB input as far as your keyboards and MIDI turned off but connected. So you load it up and you get your screen as you can see. Load up a song if you want. And then what you're going to do is activate the power. I'm going to turn mine on here to your controller or your MIDI system. And you wait for it up here. Takes a moment. And there you go. It shows that one input is now available. This trick works every time so you don't get the error. There you go. That is how you load up Logic Pro 10 without ever getting that doggone MIDI core services error. Hope this helps.